Hi Scorpio, I'm Brenda and I'm here again this week to give you your weekly Angel Tarot card reading for the week ending of April the 28th to the beginning of May and that would be May the 4th. <clears throat> I want to thank you again for your interest in my videos and my channel and know that your loyalty is what keeps me out here doing this every week and I truly, truly appreciate your interest. We start our week today on Monday, uh, Scorpio, with a major card and this major card is unity and unity is telling me that <clears throat> you're going to be um, <clears throat> joining some groups and expanding your circle of friends right now and perhaps you're going to enroll in a course or a spiritual organization as well for some of you um, it talks of uh, you getting uh, support from new people who are going to be around you that have integrity and strong morals and uh, this is going to help you to lift any blocks that you have been having in manifesting your own goals. <clears throat> On Tuesday, Scorpio, you've been given another major card. And this card is the Emperor. <clears throat> and the Emperor is all about um, your dreams being valid right now. But the, in order for them to, to come to fruition and to manifest, you really need to... Um, <clears throat> Cultivate logic and discipline and order into these plans that you're going to be making in order for your dreams to be valid. Um, and they need guidelines, just like the emperor. That's what he's all about. <clears throat> And um, feel free at any time while you're participating in this, Scorpio, to take a leadership role because you have the ability to do that. You're a very strong person like the Emperor is and you're capable of doing that in your career or any projects right now that you're working on. Feel free to take that leadership role. On Wednesday, you've been given the Ace of Air. And like I tell people, the air signs are all about our intellect and how we make decisions and analyzing situations in our life and give voice to our thoughts aligned with justice, truth, ideals. And perhaps for some of you, this has to do with <clears throat> the legal system. For others, it's communications and other intellect areas, uh, intellectual areas of our life that perhaps bring a little bit of worry and struggle and concern concerns into our life. The Ace of Bear speaks of some brilliant new ideas <clears throat> and inspirations coming into you and that you need to see the truth in a situation that's happening around some of you right now. And uh, you know what? It is going to be a bit of a challenging beginning when you're seeing these things that are happening around you. But it's going to also be a time of newness and bringing in new and brilliant ideas and inspirations to you. <clears throat> On Thursday, you've been given a water card. And this, my friend, is the five of water. And this is telling me that for some of you, you're thinking that situations in your life right now aren't turning out the way that you had thought and wanted them to or had hoped that they would. And that uh, it's so bad for some of you as you get yourself down that you can't see any positive at all in that situation. And you need to know that there's always some positive. If you sit and think about it, that negative situation that you can sit and say to yourself, now what what good came out of that? What am I, uh, what can I see that was positive about that situation? And I'm sure you will, my friend, find at least one thing. This also speaks of you thinking of this situation as spilt milk. It's like, oh, what can I do? Well, you know, I tell you all this time when you get this card that all you have to do is this. That's how easy it is to wipe that spilt milk away and move on in a forward direction. On Friday, you've been given a fire card. And the fire cards are all about, they represent our ideas and our inspirations, um, where we feel passion and display amazing creativity and set our dreams basically into motion. And it can correspond to your career, uh, the arts in your life, adventure, risk-taking, and self development. Um, it also basically represents our passions our, that we feel about certain things in our life. This particular one says you have come into your own and some of you are going to be dealing with new partnerships and perhaps signing of contracts in your life at this time and know that you need to continue doing this to move forward. On Saturday, my friends, you've been given the lover's card. What can I say about the lover's card? Uh, right now, for those of you um, that are in intimate relationships, you need to realize that communication is 
key right now. And in order to develop trust, you need to communicate. And it's it's decisions for some of you about your life right now that you're making that had to do with some intimate relationship that was there in your life. And you need to weigh all those options. Consider your choices carefully, my friend. There is a need for balance there. For some of you, there's a need to return to good health. Okay? For some of you, there's going to be marriage and happy times and weddings. At the end of the week, my goodness, Scorpios, you've had four major arcana cards. Quite significant. And that card that you've been given is the sun. And the sun is all about a happy outcome to a situation right now. And um, it's brilliant new ideas that lead you to success. It's a wonderful time for you. You are succeeding in ways you never dreamed that you could do. For some of you, you're feeling very blessed with abundance and success. And you need to stay positive with your, with your thought process and have confidence in yourself. And know, my friend, that right now when you receive that star card, you are on the right path to joy. Okay, some of you are actually doing so well that you need to really feel confident in yourself because you may be getting public recognition for the good work and the good job that you've been doing. Now, for others, you need to know that you have vibrant physical and emotional good health right now. At the end of the week, Scorpio, I uh, decided to choose again an oracle card to tie in your week. And my guides led me to use the healing oracle card and this one here angel oracle card was divine guidance and this divine guidance basically says for some of you um you if you if for some of you you are actually being divine being divinely guided and the gut feelings that you have right now and the knowingness that you have right now and the visions that you have right now that inner voice is telling you that follow it Divine guidance is leading you, and you need need to follow it. And uh, you drew this, uh, you drew this card because it says the card before it, happy outcome, divine timing. They tie in together with this week. The divine guidance card says whatever card came before it, if there was one after it, you lean towards the closest card. So, this is going to happen to you. You are going to have happiness. You, uh, you, you, it's coming into you. That wonderful time that I discussed about this card and you succeeding in ways you never dreamed of. Know that it's coming. But it's divine timing that will bring it at the right time. It's coming. I hope you have a great remainder to today and a wonderful optimistic week ahead of you, Scorpio. I wish you all the happiness. And I want to thank you for tuning in again. And if you should want a reading with me, a private reading with me, my website is www.brendatarot.info. And tarot is spelled T-A-R-O. I want you to know, Scorpio, I'm going to leave you again with another quote. And the quote I've picked today is, Real strength is not a condition of one's muscle but a tenderness in one's spirit. I want you to know, Scorpio, I will always stand in the circle of light for you, my friend.